I'm going to show you how to remove pins from this GM style connector. This one happens to be for a LS V8 engine alternator. So the first thing we want to do is pull this black clip off the back of the connector. I like to use an angled pick to do this and you really just kind of jam it in there and lift up like so. All right, so the connector is now off. Now what we need to do is we need to actually come up with something to push into this top section right here to slide the pin out. Now I like to use a hair clip. I take these from my wife, but you can get them at any sort of um, convenience store or you can buy them online, of course. And this one I already have used, so I actually pulled a little rubber thing off the top of it. But what you'll wanna do is remove the little rubber thing off the top and then bend it at a nice angle, like this. And then what we have to do is we have to narrow it a bit. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna hit it with a grinder. That should do the trick. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to insert this into the top of this connector, just like that. Now, make sure you don't push it all the way through and jab it into your hand, because that'll hurt. But once you have it in there, you should be able to just pull the connector right out, just like that. And if you want to close up, you can see that what you're trying to do is push down the little tab that is right here. Once you've pushed down that tab with any sort of object, like a hair clip, it will slide right out of the connector. And obviously putting it right back in is the same thing. Maybe we can get a shot of the inside of this. Eh, it doesn't really look like much. So what we're gonna do is slide it back in, and now it's locked in again. For the sake of fun, let's pull it out one more time. We'll take the hair clip, push it in the slot, and then we'll pull this right back out. Pretty great, huh? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, maybe leave a comment down below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.